don't understand what's going on. Most of you do. Because gossip spreads like fire. I walk around this building because in there hold some signatures to some assets and some financials that belong to me. Yes, I know about it. I also know of the corruption that's behind this. Know this. These things will be brought to the light. And everybody involved, everyone, will also be brought forth and judged accordingly. Not by these judges that reside here today. They're going to be stripped from their power. Anyone that laid in the bed with those who had anything to do with this corruption to try to take my inheritance, my birthright. This is not a threat. This is just truth. Everyone that partook of that forbidden fruit is going to have their time to go within. They're going to be sat down, stripped of your title, stripped of your power and your authority. You will not hold it anymore. I'll tell you the truth. All you who laid down with the enemy, Justice is here. From judges to lawyers to attorneys to police officers to the sheriff to political politics from A to Z. If you held a title and you abused that title and you abused your power you are being stripped as I speak these words. It's being taken from you. And you will be brought in front of your community. It's not so much to shame you. Although you may feel shame, you should, in my opinion, for what you've done. But that's not what Father's intent is. I ain't my father. I tell you this because it's prophecy. Those of you get to know that I don't try to bring harm on anyone or wish ill will on anyone. But if you are guilty, then judgment is fair and right. It's righteous judgment. These things I speak because they're truth and I speak them into existence. That's a gift. But it's fair and it's right. For I am fair and I am right. And I would not judge out of any malicious, malicious intent, it's not what I'm here for. Regardless if I share any personal level, you know, it's, it's not, I'm not the judge. I only speak about what the judge is doing. The Almighty, it's out balance. Let's not use the word judgment. That's a harsh word. Let me rephrase that. Bringing balance. Thank you, Father. Sometimes it's in a, how you say things. How things are interpreted, you know? It makes a big difference. I'm still learning, people. <laughs> you know, it takes practice. I'm not perfect. Bear with me. But I assure you, I'll be one of the greatest communicators of all times before it's said and done.
That's what I've been asking for. Anyway, I wanted to come on and let all y'all know that in case you didn't. In case you thought you might be able to move this around and that around. It's not gonna it's not gonna help you. Judgment's already been set. It's in motion. Nothing you can do to undo it. It's all been seen and it's all been recorded. Yeah? My spiritual beings, angels, and by humans. Or angels in the flesh. Who knows? It's God. He can do what he wants. And he does. Thank God, right? Maybe not some of you in your position right now, but, you know, put, put the shoe on the other foot. People that want and need justice, you're about to shout. You're about to shout down this courthouse. You're about to get victory in your life. Greater understanding. And you're going to see God work in miraculous ways. Right? This ain't my battle. This is his battle. And he's already won. He's already won. He's already victorious. Nobody can stand against the Almighty. No one. And if you think you can, you're foolish. You've been deceived. <laughs> and I said to say, it's true. We can be deceived. Anyway, I love you guys, and I just want you all to know that. Y'all that hold these authority, these authoritative titles, and you let it get to your head. It went to your head, and it went to your heart. It went black on us. You went greedy. You got corrupted. But thank God for his mercy. He still loves you. There's still hope for you. I want, that's that's really my point. There is still hope for you. Don't do anything rash. Don't take your lives. There's still hope at the end of this tunnel. I promise. But I've been there. You know? I felt hopeless. But I stand here today as, yeah, with a testimony. You're gonna get better. If you go within, you gotta heal. And you'll be glad you did, I promise. Thanks for coming with me on my journey. This is Michael Height. I'm signing off for now. Until next time, remember, Father loves you, and so do I.